Hey guys and welcome to episode 4 of my Big Fat Indian Wedding series. So today is going to be about getting organised and just how to start the planning process and to make sure you stay organised throughout the whole wedding planning process. So to begin with I'm just going to go through a few of the things that I've already got at the moment to ensure that I'm staying organised. Um, if you have been watching my previous episodes, or have you, if you have seen my previous episodes, you will know that I'm planning my engagement party and my wedding. And so the engagement party will be this year in July, and then my wedding will be next year in August. I don't think I've said the exact date yet or anything, um, but I know the months now and everything. So that's what is happening at the moment. So to begin with, I'll start with my engagement. So to stay organised for my engagement, I'm using this wedding planner here. Um, so this wedding planner is actually a gift that I received um, for one of my engagement presents from my cousins. So it's very sweet of them because I was actually looking for a wedding planner book at the time. Um, so that was very thoughtful and sweet of them. Uh, I don't, so I don't know where this is from because this is a gift to me. But it's really, really good. Um, so I'm using this for my engagement planning and I've got a separate one for my wedding planning. So the wedding planner book and then you open it and it has like an elastic band to bind it all together, which is good. To hold it all together, sorry. And then in this little heart you can write, you know, the name of the bride and groom and the date of the wedding or whatever you're planning and so here it says getting started congratulations on your engagement you are now probably wondering where to begin relax from guest list to gift list we can have considered everything making it easy for you to plan and budget down to the very last detail of your perfect day so this is okay so it says the brand of the um, wedding planner book on the back so it's bride to be and it's uh, busybee.co.uk if you like the look of this once I go through it and if you do want to purchase it um, then that's probably where you'll find it um, so the other good thing about this book is it has these different tabs so you can keep track of everything um, so it has the getting started tab and then it has the guest and stationery tab wardrobe tab, wedding day gifts and contacts and notes tabs so the first one getting started is basically just like the countdown timeline sort of thing so in here um i've got i've already got some of my notes written in here already um and then it has another thing i love about this is loads of little little um what do you call them little sleeves and pockets where you can put important documents in like your contracts with the vendors and things like that and other little bits and pieces that you might have so this is in the first pocket that I've got there is just a um, spreadsheet that I made myself and this was actually before we had chosen a venue we have now chosen a engagement venue which I will go into in a separate video um, but this was before we had chosen our venue so what I did is I made a spreadsheet of uh, venues that we were interested in and um, the location of the venues then I had the price so some of them quoted price per head whereas others quoted price for the whole package um, the capacity whether the price included the food or whether that was an extra charge on top of what they were charging and then um, just like for, uh, with regards to alcohol so at Indian weddings we do cater for everything including food and alcohol um, so a lot of venues if you do want to bring your own alcohol they will charge a corkage fee um, or some sort of fee and if they don't then you have to buy the alcohol through them generally and then once I'd started calling them I just sort of jotted down notes at the bottom there and then on the back is just the spreadsheet continued um, so I had another tick box just to see if the price included the decor as well um, and then I had another column here which was for the availability so if they had the dates that we wanted available if not then what dates did they have in the month in the summer months because we wanted our engagement party to take place in the summer months um, and then their 
contact numbers for the venues so we know what who to call if we you know so I don't have to go search through Google or anything I can just quickly take this out of the book and the telephone numbers are all there so this spreadsheet was really really helpful at the beginning very very beginning of the process of picking the venue um, so I highly recommend um, rather than jotting down loads of different things on little bits of pieces of paper and you know you don't know where you've put them it's much better to have um, something like this to keep you organized and so you can actually remember because you'll probably call, you will probably call a lot of different venues when you're trying to choose the perfect one for you and um, this helps you keep track of what each venue has quoted you what each venue um, has said what their restrictions are and what they allow you to do and everything like that so you know, so you don't forget and you don't lose track of anything. So the first section is the, so it starts from the 12 month countdown. So basically what it has is in each countdown section, so that's 12 months, 11 months, and then it goes down by months basically. So on the 12 month section it has uh, determine your budget, visit venues, um, choose ideal wedding dates. So obviously I've crossed out the ones that don't apply to me because some of them won't apply because this is only the engagement party um, and depending and obviously this is probably more made for English weddings um, so some of the stuff won't apply but you can sort of figure out whether it will or not and then you can cross out the ones that you don't need. So that's basically the first section um, and it's just got different parts to the countdown. This is another thing that I really like, so it has a budget planner on this page. So you can sort of plan how much you're estimating to spend on each thing, so it has a list of the things that you will need to spend on. So it's got things like bride's wedding ring, groom's wedding ring. Obviously that won't apply right now for us, for the engagement. Um, wedding dress, what my estimate budget is. And then the second column is what the actual cost is. So you can keep track of how much you've actually spent and how much you're estimating to spend, which I really, really like. Um, so I've put NA next to the ones that don't apply for this, just to keep me on, keep me up to date with everything and on track which is really good and then if there aren't if there are some missing off the budget list you can actually put it in this blank space which is brilliant um, so it has like the others columns so you can write um, any other things that you've thought of that you will need to spend on then at the bottom it has a total where you can just add up and put the total there and also another thing that I really like at the end of each section there's a notes page which is a just completely blank page where you can take extra notes and jot down things that um, you need to keep note of basically. So like here when I, I took this planner when I went to see the venue that we have actually now chosen, um, we went to see a few venues on that day and I took this planner with me and while we were talking to the people at the venues we just sort of... Um, I just sort of took note of the important things that they mentioned, the price that they quoted, etc. So I took note of that in here so I could just refer back when I needed to. The next session is guests and stationery. So this is like the guest lists and things like that. So I actually made a separate guest list spreadsheet, which I haven't printed out yet, so I don't have it in here. This was my rough one that I've just got on that brown piece of paper tucked in there. But we made a proper one on an Excel spreadsheet, um, which I highly recommend because you can just add everything up. Um, obviously, it's the people that we've invited. We don't know whether they're definitely coming or not, but you have to have a rough number in order to book the venue. So I haven't actually written anything in this section, just because I've done it all online. Um, and the other thing I love about this book is that it has a plastic sleeve at the end of each section. So what I've actually been doing, I haven't got anything in this part of the section, part of the book, because I haven't, you know, done the guest list or anything like that yet. But for example, in the wedding day section, in the plastic sleeve, I've got like the invoices for the deposits paid um, for the venue and other things on the day of the engagement party so I know that I won't lose any little bits and pieces like if I need to refer back to a receipt or an invoice or a contract then I just refer back to this book rather than you know 
I don't know, having bits lying around and then losing them because that's not good. Also, most of the vendors do email you um, receipts or invoices once you pay them, you know, like each time you pay them. Um, but I usually, what I do is I have a folder in my inbox just for my engagement. Any emails or correspondence regarding my engagement, I... Um, I move into that folder so everything's filed away in that folder in my inbox and um, so all my invoices are in there but I usually print out a hard copy as well and keep it in this folder just to make sure I've got both um, you know so I have I won't be stuck in any sort of circumstance that comes up. I've just got like the contact details of people that I was looking into, like the vendors that I was looking into for photography and videography. We've actually now booked our photographer and videographer um, for the engagement party, um, but that was just when I was looking at the vendors that I liked the most. I just jotted down their details, the name of the company, and then um, how much they quoted me and their contact details. Once we made our final decision, what I did was in the last section, which is the contacts and notes, I actually am listing all the vendors. So once we've booked each vendor, so for example, if it's the venue, the hair and makeup artist, the um, videographer and the photographer, the cake person. So each every time I book that specific vendor, I put the company that we've booked with and their contact details. So I have a quick um, go-to page in the back of this book, which is really good. So what I'm going to do, I have I've just realised I haven't actually written down the photographer and videographer in this. So I've got my hair and makeup artist and I've got the venue details written down in there. Um, so I just need to get that up to date and then that will all be good. So this book is brilliant for keeping you organised. Um, for me, this is perfect for the engagement party because it's got everything that I need to plan the engagement party. The reason why I didn't use this for Big Fat Wedding is because I thought I needed a bit more in-depth planner for the wedding. Um, so then this is why I picked the one that I'm going to show you now so I'll move on to that in a moment. I did actually want one specifically for Indian weddings and there is um, a wedding planner out there specifically for Indian weddings. However, unfortunately, the girls that so it's like a business run by two girls I believe in Canada and um, I did want to get it shipped over here the only thing is they actually sort of took a break from it for a while to rebrand and improve the actual planner um, I'm hoping that it will be out in the next few months so I can still get my hands on it um, not that I necessarily need it because I have both of these planners which are absolutely both are absolutely brilliant um, but I just want it, just because obviously if you are Indian and you know how complicated Indian weddings can be and how many pre-wedding events there are and everything like that, um, it would be a lot more helpful to have an Indian wedding planner. I actually found them on Instagram and they're called Every Fine Detail. So moving on, um, so this is how I'm staying organized for the wedding. I love this planner. Um, I love that it's the actual binder folder. It's amazing. It's called the Not Ultimate Wedding Planner and Organizer. Um, so this, the Not is actually a big wedding website. So a lot of you may have heard it if you're planning your own, heard about it if you're planning your own wedding. And um, so it's from the editors of the number one wedding website, The Not. Um, this actually peels off the front bit. I'm just going to peel it off now and then I'll see what it says underneath. So on the front it says our wedding and then on the inside when you open it it's a proper binder folder so you can add your own pages in as well and I think that's absolutely brilliant. Um, so on the front bit, so the inside of the folder, it says every last detail for the wedding of and then it has two spaces so you can put your name and your fiance's name and then it has and then you put the date underneath and then the bottom box says if found please contact so you can put your contact details there if you lose it good forbid um so yeah this is the main page it's quite heavy um and then again like my engagement planner it has all the different tabs um but this is like a really detailed wedding planner 
I'll just give you guys a little glimpse through. I actually purchased this from Amazon. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was over £20, which is actually really good. And it's the best one that I could find on there. It had the best reviews. And I saw a few other YouTubers have used it before as well. And their reviews were all really good. So I'm actually really, really excited to start using it. The reason why I haven't started using it yet is because I wanted to show you guys before I fully started using that. With my engagement one, I couldn't do that because we sort of got right into the planning straight away. So I couldn't do that with that. So the other good thing about this is it actually tells you how to use this binder. So on this page here, it actually says, oh my God, it's so massive. Um, so it actually says, um, take a few of these helpful hints on getting the most out of your planning binder. Um, and then it just tells you, you know, how to use it and what each section is for and all that sort of thing. Um, the first page is like all your main wedding contacts. So if you've got a wedding planner, um, reception venue, caterer, ceremony venue and efficient. So the other good thing about this is it actually tells you how to use this binder. So on this page here... It actually says, oh my god, it's so massive. Um, so it actually says, um, take a few of these helpful hints on getting the most out of your planning binder. Um, and then it just tells you, you know, how to use it and what each section is for and all that sort of thing. Um, the first page is like all your main wedding contacts. So if you've got a wedding planner, um, reception venue, caterer, ceremony venue and efficient. Oh, it's actually got quite a few. So then you've got your photographer, videographer, reception, DJ. So then it has like a wedding budget breakdown, sort of similar to the one that I showed you guys before. So it just lists, lists everything and then you have to just write your estimates and then the actual cost of everything. Honestly, every part of this is just so detailed. You don't even need to have a wedding planner. I'm not even joking. Um, I've never wanted a wedding planner anyway, so I've just always wanted to plan everything myself. Um, that's why I really love this. I think it's just amazing. Um, and in each section, so like this is the invitation section. It has like an invitation inspiration page, um, but this there's this page in every section so like the um, dress and accessory section has this inspiration page as well and what you can do is you can either sketch out if you're you know good at art and you want to design your own sort of invitation or dress and um, then you can jot it down here and sketch it out here or if you have ideas and you want to stick them somewhere and um, have a page for like your um, ideas to sort of put them all in one place um, it says so start with your favorite photos color swatches magazine tear sheets and everything so attach them here and then you can have everything in one page and then put all of it into sort of one idea and come up with one final piece that you want so with your invitations your decor your outfit your bridesmaids outfit so this page is so handy this is just an example this is the invitation one but there's also the exact same inspiration page in the other sections as well which I think is brilliant I love the sort of pictures that they have in here as well so this is like the flowers and then this is the dress section, the so top wedding dress tips um, and then here it says dress type glossary and then it has the pictures of the different styles of dresses there. I really like this so in the photography section you can stick like photos of um, wedding shots that you really want at your wedding so it's got like little squares where you can put photos um, of the type of shots that you want, so your must have shots basically, which I think is great. Um, and then right at the end, I'm going to skip the sections otherwise I'll be going on for days. Um, right at the end, it's this little uh, wallet and it has, uh, there's two, so there's one where you can slot in the business cards like that. And then there's another one and it's just a normal wallet where you can slip in where do you slip it in from 
maybe from the bottom. Yeah, from the bottom. So you can slip in the, um, you know, any bits and pieces like contracts and invoices and things like that. Um, you can slip them in at the back. Then I really like the last bit on the end. On the back bit it says, congratulations, you made it. <laughs> And I love that because, honestly, planning a wedding is such a big achievement, I think. Like, a lot of your time and effort goes into it and a lot of stress and a lot of money. So, um, I just think that, you know, this is a really important time and anyone that has planned a wedding, you should feel really proud of yourself that you've, you know, managed to pull off an amazing wedding. Because, um, honestly, I can now see the amount of work that goes into it. So yeah but I think this is really really going to help me along the way one of the main ways that I'm going to be staying organised um, spreadsheets are definitely a big thing for me um, like I made a spreadsheet for my engagement guest list I'm also making a spreadsheet for my um, wedding guest list as well so I think I've already done that or I'm in the process of doing that um, also for getting organized so in the sections as you saw in these wedding planner books there are sections where you can like put snippets of ideas and inspiration and things like that so what I went out and did and I just got a few magazines so you can just sort of have a flick through and if there's anything that you like tear it out and stick it in there make sure you keep it in there have a look on Pinterest if there's anything you like on Pinterest I've actually got a wedding board on Pinterest I keep all my wedding ideas in one place and um, so if I ever need to refer back to it, it's all in one place and um, like I said in my email inbox I also have I have folders for my engagement emails and for my wedding emails so I have a folder named engagement and I have a folder named wedding and any email that I have regarding either the engagement or the wedding goes into the relevant folder that's a brilliant way for me to keep track of all my emails rather than going through my endless emails in my inbox I just go straight to the folder that I need to go to and everything will all be there so I think that's a that's really essential because a lot of people communicate via email these days um, so I really think that's a must um, also what I think is really good to stay organized are the wedding apps that you can actually get so I've um, at the moment I haven't got many but I've got plan Shadi, which is um, means plan wedding basically okay so this is the main page and it has like um, wedding ideas you can look on their vendors um, you can make like a scrapbook so it has like pictures sort of similar to Instagram. Um, so this is obviously all Indian stuff. Because um, it's an Indian wedding app. But obviously on the English apps you'll have the different in English stuff. It has the vendor's name underneath. So if you like it you can actually save it to your scrapbook. So I've got two pictures saved there already. You have like a checklist. So there's like loads of stuff on here as well, which is really helpful, um, I think. Um, this is great for on the go, but I would, I actually prefer using the books where I can write everything down, jot everything down, print things out and sort of file them away. Um, but that's just me. Some people might prefer it on the app and have prefer to have it all on their phone um, <clears throat> I just prefer to have everything in writing as well as on, la on my laptop as well and then I also got an Asiana wedding magazine I need to get the more more up to date one because this is autumn 2016 um, but this is brilliant because you can get ideas of the different styles of outfits that are in at the moment and um, makeup artists so on each page it will tell you where so what the model's wearing, where the outfit's from, um, who the model's makeup artist was, so on and so forth. And then it has the other vendors and things in here as well, so decorators, caterers, venue options. So this is a great start off position to see what's in at the moment, um, you know, and where you can go for all your wedding needs, basically. So yeah, at the moment I'm still in the process of putting together um, my ideas and things like that so at the moment my organization is just all writing down things keeping things in spreadsheets and folders and things like that um, my next step to 
what I'm going to do because I have loads of ideas floating around in my head and on Pinterest and on Instagram and screenshots on my phone. Um, what I'm going to do with all these ideas is I'm actually going to buy bits of A3 pieces of card and um, I'm going to make like boards for each part of the wedding so I'll make one for decor, one for bridesmaids outfits, one for my outfits and just put all the pictures that I like all onto these A3 pieces of card um, so I have them to refer back to. I think that's such a good idea um, it's actually something that my sister mentioned to me she said this will be a really good idea for you and I said well actually yeah that's a really good idea because rather than you know having all these pictures flying around on my phone um, and if I ever lose them then I'll have to you know go back and try and search for them again and all these magazines I've got piling up in my bedroom like I can just take out the snippets that I like um, and then when the new ones come out I can do the same thing with that and sort of compile a A3 bit of sort of like a mood board thing and inspiration board and another good thing about that is when you go to see the vendors and you try you want to tell them what you're looking for and sort of give them a picture and put them in the picture as well um, this is great to take along with you because A3 is not massive you can easily take that around with you um, and you can sort of show them you know this is how I want this and this is how I want that and this is the colour that I'm looking at and this is the style that I want and all this sort of things um, so I think that's such a brilliant idea and I'm definitely going to start doing that I might actually, might actually do a separate video on putting this card together um, so if you do want to see me do that then let me know in the comments below if you want to see me put together these inspiration boards for my wedding um, I think they'll be brilliant uh, so if you guys think that'll be, that's a good idea as well then give me a big thumbs up so yeah that's how I'm staying organised at the moment guys I hope you're enjoying my Big Fat Indian Wedding series I'm really really enjoying filming them for you guys so this one was a bit of a lengthy one it's just that there's so much information in getting organised and making sure that you're staying on top of things and um, you know making sure that you've got everything in order um, so yeah these are my main ways of keeping organized if you have any other different ideas you think might help me then please let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear your ideas as well um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in my next one bye